Look, Veronica. Everyone's here to see you. We've come to celebrate with you. The world's at peace at long last. <gasps> and Yggdrasil's in full bloom again. It's so beautiful. It still hasn't sunk in, you know? We really did it. We really saved the world. Yes. Mordigan plunged Erdria into darkness. So many lost their lives. But we survived. We have to make the most of that. We have to laugh and smile for those who can't. We may feel like crying. Goodness knows I do. But we mustn't. <laughs> I can only imagine what Veronica would say. Pull yourselves together! You've saved the world, you idiots! What are you blubbering for? <laughs> Excuse my awful impression. <laughs> 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 Ah, here you all are. Huh? Mm -hmm. We were wondering where the guests of honor were. The festivities have already begun. It's party time. Come on, darling. Let's go let our hair down. <laughs> good health. You're good health. Looks like peace has even loosened up the Arboreans. Then what are we waiting for? Let's make this a party to remember. For Veronica. Where do you think you're going? Sneaking off without us, honey. If you've got some place to be, we can all go together, no? <laughs> of course we can. Now the world is at peace, the fun can really begin. If you're looking for new adventures, I know where we can start. You saw that weird light shining south of Octagonia too, right? If it was up to me, that's where I'd be headed. But you're the boss.
I trust you've been staying out of trouble, Father. Well now, Jade! All of you! How good to see you! <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. I've been busy letting my hair down while you've been here rebuilding the village. You have earned your rest. For now, you must enjoy some free time with your companions, and leave the hard work to us. But when Cobblestone has been rebuilt, work will begin at last on restoring the capital to its former glory. When that time comes, I shall need my daughter by my side. Oh, I'll be there. Don't you worry. We'll rebuild Heliodor together. I did 
I did not realize the dancing required so much stamina. <sighs> Norberto, what are you doing here? I did not expect you to return so soon. Hey, Sylv. Your dad said he needed to get his strength back, so we agreed to teach him a few moves. He's natural, don't you know? Took to it like a duck to water, he did. But then he is your puppy, I suppose. Silencio! Ah, enough with your nonsense! A man needs his peace and quiet. Take your silly dancing somewhere else! <gasps> Don't go taking that tone with us, mister. You were the one who was talking about wanting to surprise Sylv with a little show. <gasps> oh. A show? Oh, yes. You should have heard him. Couldn't stop going on about how he's a big dance fan now. And he sees why you love it so much. Puppy. Is this true? Of course not! It is nonsense. I am a knight. I do not have time for dancing. It is pointless frivolity. <gasps> oh, Papi, I'm so happy. When do I get to see the full routine? The full... Hmm. Well, now... <clears throat> hmm. Come on, Papi. A knight's word is his bond, remember? Fine! Come, chicos. We will show Norberto what we can do. We will give him the performance of a lifetime. The training ground will serve as our stage. We begin preparations immediately. Venga, venga! Sir, yes, sir! We can see you, Mia. Come on out. No, I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. The Lord of Shadows is gone, and the world's at peace. So what are you sulking about? I'm not sulking. It's just... The priest told me what happened. I don't remember any of it. But he said I turned into a monster and terrorized the town. He said I even tried to hurt you. <sighs> you and your friends must hate me for what I did. I'm plenty used to being hated 
but still. <gasps> hey, what's this? Somebody's dropped a gold coin on the floor. <gasps> Where is it? It's mine! <laughs> That's the Mia I know. Sitting in the corner feeling sorry for yourself doesn't suit you, kiddo. Oh, you tricked me! Now I feel stupid for worrying you didn't like me any- <gasps> Why don't you stop worrying about stuff that doesn't matter and start worrying about yourself? You need to get better. I can't exactly take you on a treasure hunt if you're gonna be fainting every five minutes. A treasure hunt? Sure. Soon as you've got your strength back, we'll go on a trip round the world on the lookout for loot. Just you and me. What do you say? <sighs> oh, uh, well, uh, if it's something you really want to do, I suppose I don't mind keeping you company. <laughs> Yes! me again. I've popped back a few times since peace returned. Uh, I think I might have overdone it with the wreaths a little. <laughs> but I'm not here just to lay flowers today. No. I have some news for you both. Now that the Lord of Shadows is no more, I've decided... It's high time we got Dundrasil back in his feet. It'll take time, and effort, and... Well, people. But we'll do it, you'll see. And we'll build you two a proper tomb while we're at it. <sighs> Can it really have been so long? So much time has gone by. It's over now. <sighs> ah, look at me. 
Oh, teary-eyed again. I can't help myself lately. I must be getting sentimental in my old age. <laughs> Bye for now, you two. I'll be back soon enough. What's the hold up, laddie? Let's get going. Triumph was never in doubt. This place looks a mite familiar. Aye, it's these funny wee buildings. I've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows? We might find something interesting.
It reminds me of something. Ah, of course. I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time. Beings born from the land. Beings who control time. Spirits of lost time? Could they be these figures in the painting? According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored how, exactly? You mean like, brought back to life? <gasps> Wait, if that was true, then maybe... Or just maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Veronica. Veronica. <gasps> Do you really think we could bring her back? Well, what else does it say about this light? Light lives in Tower's heart. Sacred Tower. Tower of Lost Time. Watchers guard Wheel of Time. Key to Tower. Key to Time. Key brings spirits. Sets wheels in motion. Hmm. So if we had the Wheel of Time, we might... We might really be able to... What have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? <laughs> Eric's right. No matter how unlikely it is, if it might be our chance to see her again, we simply have to try. Mm -hmm. But the Watchers are all gone, right? So... How do we find this wheel thingy? This was once one of their islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? Time. Honey, you are just too good at this. So, if I understood that book correctly, the wheel will bring the spirits of lost time to the tower they mentioned. But where might this tower be found? No likely candidates spring to mind. What's the matter, darling? You got an idea where the place we're looking for might be? I thought of something. There's an old tower north of Yggdrasil I always wondered about. Unless anyone's got any better ideas, what say we climb aboard our friendly whale and see what we can see up there?
Looks like we found the right tower. I wonder if these spirits of lost time are here already. Come on, laddie. Let's head on in and see what we can see. Thank you. 
the timekeeper, the flow of time, of destiny. I watch over them, guide them. But what are you? I am just what I say I am, and that is all I am. I... I hope you don't mind us intruding, but... We heard there might be a rather special light here in the tower that can... Well, that can... Bring people back. We've lost someone very special, you see, and... Well... We were hoping you might be able to help us. You speak of time sphere. If you were to harness its power, that which you seek might be attained. But to lose time is to lose much. The path you propose to follow is not one to be trodden lightly. To lose time? What do you mean? Time sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in Erdria since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost time, savored, remembered. To take a sword to the sphere would be to erase those moments to return to the time of the last intact memory. If your companion is to be restored to you, time itself must be destroyed. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. So in order to save Veronica, we would need to turn back time. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We'd need to go back to... I. We'd need to go back to before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. wouldn't he just save Veronica, it would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. It is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. Mm. Aye. Alas, to lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. The sphere can be broken but once, by a single hand, a hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. of the Luminary. I 
I see you. I know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere, and only with the sword of light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever, trapped in a corner of time, a half-faded memory. <gasps> That's awful! Your present? Your companions, your life even, all these may be lost to you. Knowing this, are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? I'm sorry. But you simply can't do this. We won't let you. Okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way.
the decision is made, then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much, but some semblance of your present self will remain. Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far. Your knowledge of battle and all that you have learned. The containers that surround the altar, these are the time capsules. These sacred vessels are immune to the flow of time. When you shatter the sphere, all that you possess will be placed within them. Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. Alas, there is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. But you should retain possession of its twin. The Sword of Shadows. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. Now you know all that I know. All else is unknowable. When you are ready, Join me by the sphere. Step forward. Luminary, and into the past. <laughs> Wait! <gasps> when you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this. I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm? I... I suppose I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. 
but it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. Hmm. Time of departure is upon us. Luminary, take the sword of light in hand. shot. See you on the other side. But I know one thing, we're going to stop him. We must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Good luck. 